Bahrain International Garden Show was held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the current support of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women and President of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development. This year's edition of Bahrain International Garden Show BIGS 2019 was concluded yesterday at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. On the final day, the selected winners of BIGS prizes were announced after through assessment by expert panelists. The four-day exhibition attracted more than 42,000 visitors. Dr. Fadl Ansari, Dean of Engineering, University of Bahrain. We're so delighted today that we uh, won the first prize in the category of educational sector. Uh, University of Bahrain has a very long history with, with the, uh, the, the Bahrain Garden International Show. Uh, we've been in it since it, its inception and we, we've been in it since then. And we make sure every year that we participate with our uh, uh, top uh, in, in ideas in, in design and, and, and content. Uh, we believe that because it's a, it's a garden show, that the balance between the content and the look is very important. I mean, we, we pay attention to both. Uh, this year, uh, we, we tried as much as possible to attract the participants, uh, the visitors of, of, of the show, to come inside our pavilion to appreciate the design itself and then to question why it is designed in this way and to come in and start looking at the content to show them the, the diversity of the, 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 all the fields that are related to agriculture and landscape architecture. We have also the, the new program in landscape architecture at the University of Bahrain and we try to utilize this podium to market this, this program as much as possible. With the award, this year is, is also one of the best years because the number of participants is, is, a, is a record, another record. The number of participants from out of Bahrain also is a new record. And we can see that the, all the institutions, whether they are from Bahrain or out of Bahrain, they, they are happy to be here. They want to show their best in here. And uh, you can see also the number of visitors is growing year after year. This is a wonderful show. Bahrain International Garden Show 2019 focused on agriculture as an inspirational career. Choice and all the participants from public and private sectors and from civil society have been highlighting agricultural sciences and their significance. I'm from Indonesia. My name is Sylvia Waburuntu. We are bring here this year. We bring here uh, like a flower seed, dried flowers made of corn, corn husk, and then they have also honey. There's an organic honey, and then we bring also you know spices, tea, coffee, and also spa products. The spa products is from Bali, and this year uh, we bring uh, many things. Not like last year, we just brought the, like uh, furniture and we brought also gazebo. But this year is we brought variety of things from Indonesia. The fair this year, I may say that uh, it's good compared to last year. But we are going to you know to participate again for the next year because people here we saw we saw that they like the Indonesian products. Uh, my name is Valori Roberto, I'm the owner of uh, the Italian company and uh, for the first time uh, we stay in Bahrain for, uh, for the show and in Italy we produce the, the cork. Uh, the cork is a natural tree this, and uh, born in the Medit Mediterranean area. In Italy we produce a the panel for acoustic and uh, thermical insulation. We realize uh, the bark for interior design and the characteristic uh, of the cork is uh, no flame, no burning and no smell. It's a possible application the panel outside and inside. It's possible to painting or uh, razor with the fiberglass and the natural glue and uh, painting. It's uh, very good for uh, the warm and uh, the, the regulatory humidity inside the home. 
The show attracted a large number of local and foreign exhibitors, as well as thousands of visitors interested in agricultural affairs, investors and researchers in this vital sector. Well, I am representing a company called YSM Consultancy. I am the managing partner. We are running the company with my wife. This is the second time we are participating in this uh, very important uh, exhibition. Uh, this, is an this is an important fair. Uh, last year we came with some, uh, you know, banana tree with, uh, with trees. Uh, but now, th this time we are representing uh, our friends uh, who are manufacturers in Anatolia, at the, in the north of uh, Turkey. Uh, they are producing walnut trees, uh, furniture from walnut trees. Uh, we are very happy. Uh, so, but I cannot compare last year and this year really because these are different products. What I know is lots of people are coming here from uh, the world. So we can also interact with each other. We can understand each other. So I feel like uh, this is an important one. Hopefully we will participate for the Turkish stand uh, uh, much bigger next year. That's what we are planning. Hi, my name is Paulina. Uh, I'm from Russia and uh, our company produces products for your plants. Uh, it's organic fertilizer. Uh, if you have some problems with diseases or with insects, we can help you. Uh, it's organic, uh, it's no chemical and you can use it indoor, outdoor, for plants, vegetables, fruits, for all types of plants. Uh, and it cannot harm because it's organic. You mix it with water and spray and it will kill insects and diseases. A high number of school, institute and university students also visited the show to gain insights into the novelties in the agricultural fields. The visitors, both citizens and residents, expressed their admiration for the levels of organization, the exhibitors' pavilions and the diversity of the events featured in the show. The Choose Your Doctor program from the Ministry of Health is in line with the values and principles established by the National Health Plan 2016-2025 and approved by Council of Ministers. The program works to increase satisfaction with the service provided by a doctor dedicated to each patient and aims to give sufficient attention to all patients. Hereby, patients are distributed equal to doctors in the health center, which makes each doctor accountable for quality of service provided to their patients. Choose Your Doctor program is one of the initiatives that aims to prepare the health centers for uh, the national health insurance. The main aim of this uh, program is to improve the quality of the health care services that are provided uh, by the health centers. In addition to that, it will allow the patients by themselves to choose the doctor or the physician who will be responsible uh, for their health. Uh, in this program, once the physician will be assigned for a group of patients that, that they usually will be around 2,000 to 2,500 patients, he will be required to uh, provide them with the all health services, including the early detection services, health promotive services, and plus uh, the usual curative services. Uh, from our side, 
to ensure the quality of providing these uh, health care services, we identified certain indicators. These indicators uh, will measure the performance of the physicians. And we, uh, we are putting a plan like to link the incentives and the awards to uh, these uh, performance indicators. Choose Your Doctor program started on March 2018 in One Health Center, as everybody knows, in Ali Health Center. And uh, we measure the outcome of the indicators. And as a quick gain, we were uh, very happy with the result. As the result shows that there is uh, improvement and increase in the rate of uh, early detection screening, especially for chronic diseases uh, like hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes among people who are 40 years and above for more than 50%. Plus, there was increase in the cases that were screened for example for breast cancer and uh, prostate cancer. All these positive um, uh, results encouraged us to go, on, to go on and extend the implementation of the program. So we add uh, five health centers on uh, November 2018 for, to join the program, which were uh, NBB Arad Health Center, uh, Bilad Al Qadim Health Center, and uh, Isa Town Health Center. Uh, Ahmed Ali Khan Health Center and Kuwait Health Center. And uh, uh, also now, inshallah, on uh, April 2019, another eight health center will uh, join the program and Choose Your Doctor program will be implement, implemented in them, which are uh, uh, NBB Dare Health Center, BBK uh, Head Health Center, Sheikh Sabah Health Center, Sheikh Jabir Health Center, uh, Jidhafs Health Center, um, Hamad Town Health Center, and uh, Budaya Health Center. I want to emphasize on that in Choose Your Doctor program, the healthcare services will be provided by a team of a doctor and a nurse. This team will be responsible about uh, following the health uh, status of their uh, group of patients. Uh, uh, another, like we can call it, sub, uh, another project, small project related to Choose Your Doctor is the telemedicine, which is uh, a new method of communication in our health center. In telemedicine, uh, when the patient comes and do the required test uh, or investigation, uh, his physician and his nurse will review his results. If the results are were normal, the nurse will call the patient back and will uh, assure him and give him the needed advice. While if the results were abnormal or the patient need to repeat any more tests or to do further uh, investigations, the physician by himself will call the patient and will give him the needed advice or will instruct him what to do regarding his health. And this, of course, will be reflected on the satisfaction of the patient instead of frequent visits to the health center. His visits will be reduced by providing the telemedicine. Our vision for the coming uh, years uh, we hope to see the positive impact of Choose Your Doctor project, especially in the area of uh, the early detection of the non-communicable diseases and reducing the mortality and morbidity rate in Kingdom of Bahrain because as it is known uh, that uh, cardiovascular diseases which are caused by the non-communicable diseases are the main cause of death in Bahrain. In addition to that, we hope to see our health center uh, compete, be able to compete the private health sector in providing the health services by gaining the patient uh, trust and by providing high quality services. Patients have the option to change their doctor once a year. 
If a family doctor is not selected, patients will be distributed according to the list of doctors available at the center. The choice of a family doctor through this program will aim to improve the quality of health services in the health centers. Regarding the announcement of the Choose Your Doctor project, we involve the society organization with us, including the charities, the clubs, mosques, Mawatim also we include it with us. We arrange a meeting with them and we describe what is the meaning of Choose, doctor, Choose Your Doctor project. They help us a lot uh, for uh, regarding this by announcing about uh, the campaign in uh, social media. They open their uh, societies for uh, registration and they help the people who don't have internet access in their mobile or they, they help them and they open their offices uh, for two weeks, morning and evening time. Uh, and also they give us later the statistic they did for it. Each patient will select his or her doctor, and this doctor will then be assigned to the patient for visits. This way, the doctor will be able to continuously follow the patient and be familiar with his or her health conditions, family and social problems. To access the e-service, citizens and residents must go to the MOH website and to choose the family doctor e-service from the e-services menu. We would like to emphasize that uh, users need to, to read the instruction before any registrations. After that, he need to enter his validation information before starting the registration of his information and family information. Accordingly, uh, he need to select the family doctor, which is he will be available based on the information which is already entered within the e-service itself. We need to consider that each doctor will be having a certain volume and as well a number of elderly, child and also a chronic percentage for each patient. Also, we need also to, to highlight uh, from the e-service itself. We already reached more than 2,000 registrar uh, within the e-service from the first two hours. After 48 hours, we already reached more than uh, 37,000 registrations uh, which is having a huge volume. This is already indicate that the importance of the e-service itself, okay, and also the well known of the importance from the citizenship that they need to select the e-service itself. It's worth to mention that Ministry of Health aims always to develop the e-services and to enhance the services uh, for the citizens and to ease for reaching and also enhancing the procedures. In case of unregistered patients, system will automatically distribute the patient across the available doctors for the e-service. Out of the goals of the National Health Plan and after the success of the project Choose Your Doctor, in 2018, in several health centers, including Ahmed Ali Kano, we start to distribute the patient card by contact uh, patient directly and we involve uh, some um, community institutions to announcement uh, for the patient to come direct to health center to receiving uh, the card. Until today, we distribute around 778 cards. Uh, of course, the role of the nurse is a vital role in uh, choosing of the doctor. Uh, it is depend or based on uh, two main things. Uh, the treatment uh, line and the uh, preventing line. The treatment line is uh, depend on when the patient is re reaching the health center. If the patient reach uh, the health center before 15 or 10 minutes before to, before seeing his doctor, he have to see the nurse. The nurse she will listen to the patient and she will check for him uh, some initial test like a blood pressure, blood sugar. Uh, his temperature. Uh, this uh, investigation will help the doctor to diagnose uh, the patient condition. The protective line is the most important thing in the choosing the doctor. And the patient has to know that the doctor and the nurse is uh, uh, in the health center not only for treatment, it is only for it is also for the protective uh, them from any disease. The physician chooser will look after the health of the entire family. The family doctor provides all services available at the health center. And doctors are divided into teams of doctors and nurses to provide the best possible service.
Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad attended the Charter of Gold Festivities which were organized by Muharraq Youth Center at Arad Oasis in the presence of MPs Muhammad Isa and Ibrahim in Nafi'i, invitees and citizens. Board Chairman of Amharic Youth Center, Raed Malala, gave a speech in which he congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister on the National Action Charter anniversary, stressing that the Charter embodies the far-sighted royal vision as well as national unity and citizens' maturity. He described the approval of the Charter as a milestone in the Kingdom's history that ushered in a new phase of development. He also praised the care given by the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister to the Youth Centers and his keenness to support the program's aid at tapping on the youth's potentials. He presented a briefing on the programs which will be presented by Mahara Youth Centers in 2019, which are in tune with the ministry's strategies to promote the role of the Youth Center in honing youngsters' potentials. The Youth and Sport Ministry got informed about the functions marking the occasion and honored participants who contributed to the success of the program. Bahrain Polytechnic has won the 2018-19 CFA Institute Research Challenge in Bahrain. It was announced in a close competition hosted by CFA Society Bahrain, the Kingdom's Association for Local Investments Professionals. The competing teams produced an equity research report on the financial performance of Bahrain telecommunication company Batalco, which was then judged by SFA Society Bahrain and representatives from SICO and Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait BBK based on accuracy, insight and analysis. Bahrain Polytechnic will compete in the EMEA regional final in Switzerland between 10th and 11th of April 2019 against other teams from universities around the world. The winning team will then compete in the global final on 25th of April in New York, USA. This year's competition featured four universities including University of Bahrain, Bahrain Polytechnic, Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance and Strathclyde Business School. Bahrain's national bowling team returned home with remarkable results at the North Arab Men's and 5th Women Bowling Championship 2019, which concluded in Cairo recently. The men's team emerged overall champion in the category while the women's could finish second in two outstanding achievements at the major regional bowling challenge. Both sides were given a special welcome reception at Bahrain International Airport with a welcome delegation headed by Bahrain Bowling Association President Ahmed Naimi and board members. Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Assistant Secretary General and Bahrain Olympic Committee BOC Secretary General Abdurrahman Askar, who was also at the reception of Bahrain's heroes, congratulated both teams on their respective results at one of the most prestigious bowling competitions. He conveyed the congratulations of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Supreme Council for Youth and Sport Chairman and BOC President and his best wishes for the teams in future championships. Askar also attributed to the results to the efforts of Bahrain Bowling Association and its President Ahmed al naimi in facilitating the players' preparation for the championships and wished the association progress. Under the patronage of the President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Custom Affairs has held a ceremony to honor some retired employees. The President valued the distinguished efforts of the former staff in promoting Customs works and their dedication and sincerity. He wished them all the best. Meanwhile, the retirees expressed thanks and appreciation of the support they received throughout the years in service by the President. The ceremony was attended by officials of the Custom Affairs. The Bahrain Training Institute BTI will hold the Career Week 2019 in March. The National Initiative for Agriculture Development NIAD, the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company GPIC, the Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco, the Economic Development Board ADB, Khalil Al Muayyad and Sons, Temki, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Bahrain National Gas Company, and Tatweer Petroleum Company, among others, will take part in the Career Week 2019. The event will feature workshops and lectures by specialists in various fields to shed light on the needs of the labor market and help trainees and students to select their future careers.
see your face in every sun.